Finally, Statistics South Africa reported a 0.5% decrease in electricity production in May 2024 compared to April 2024. Year-on-year, -year, production was up by 5.6% in May. Meanwhile, electricity distribution dropped by 0.6% month-on-month in May 2024. Moreover, consumption saw a 4.8% increase year-on-year. Energy expert Matthew Cruz provides insights on these changes. StatsSA recently released their electricity generated and available for distribution reports for May this year. And in the reports, it indicates that there has been an increase of 5.6% of the overall electricity generated in South Africa relative to last year over May. And this is similar to what came out in April, where there was a 5.7% overall increase in the amount of electricity generated relative to 2023. And when we look at the peak demand, however, this has decreased 8% relative to last year. So there's been an overall use of electricity that's, that's increased, but in terms of uh, the peak demand, that's decreased as mainly due to businesses and households realizing that they can become independent from ESCOM and the electricity price increases by getting a solar and battery system and then reducing the overall peak demand. We've also seen recently that there has been a firing of up to 3,000 megawatts of diesel fire generated um, turbines. And uh, Wednesday last week, for example, the OCGTs, the open cycle gas turbines, were fired at a rate of 42% um, capacity, whereas NERSA has mandated ESCOM to not go above 6%. So in terms of how things are going, it might seem and look rosy that we're able to produce more electricity uh, relative to last year uh, when there was an energy crisis. However, this year, even though we're sitting at stage zero at the moment, we are still needing to fire our diesel turbines to mitigate up to three stages of load shedding. So it looks like things are not yet in the clear as a country.